Guys, I've got the J Concepts Fling King for the monster trucks right here. They're on the max. These things are nasty. Guys, we're going to get to the table, show these to you, and get outside. It's wet, it's rainy, it's windy, it's muddy. We're going to get these things dirty. Guys, let's get to the table. Look at this thing right here, guys. It is pretty much almost completely square, just like the Coralie was. This is awesome. Holy moly, this is awesome. Let's get this thing powered up. It does have a 4S in it for this. And the motor is at Holmes 2100 KV Punchy, Monster XESC, Reefs 500 Servo, whole lot of it of on. This thing is about to get wet. This thing sure looks wild, and I have not changed the gearing until 2446. Uh, probably going to be stressing a little bit. Uh, let's get it. Actually, first, let's see if it'll stay on top of this little puddle I got. Going back in to glue this tire up before I mess it up. It's glued up. I put the new freshly glued tire on the back and we'll have to see how it works out. I mean, hopefully they stay put, right? <laughs> now, before I actually get on the stand to actually try to do a lap, I mean, the track is going to be super sticky right now, but it's really super sticky. Let's see what we got back here. This could be rough. Now, these tires are wide, so they may vacuum to the water a little bit. I don't know. Had to add a little bit of dirt there to try to keep, uh, you know, a future washout from happening. Plus, I can move that around. <laughs> yeah, they do have some vacuum on the water for sure. Yeah, yeah, you can see it right there. But nothing a little power can't get by. Oh! You know, this is not my normal routine to do this with my trucks. But sometimes it's nice to change things up a little bit, right? Yeah, lots of vacuum from these tires for sure. Well, let's see what we can get for the wet track. <laughs> oh. oh, good one. Now that ditch over there is full of water. I missed most of the water. And now we got some sun. Ah, oh, got it. Let's go over to the big dirt hills. Oh, did I get another tire coming loose? Oh, maybe it's okay. Nice double backflip. Super easy. Now let's see what we got here. Now these tires, they're going to hook up everywhere, but they kind of uh, didn't work there. <laughs> that was some nasty mud there. Oh, oh, I heard some crunching. 
Yeah. Think I can get another double? Let's find out. Something came loose. Almost got a triple. Looks like that tire came loose right over here. Yep, let's go see what's going on. I think I'm gonna call it right there. I wanna get these tires on the LMT, so let's see how bad this is inside. It's not too bad. Get out of sunlight. Ah, it could have been worse. Could have been worse, but the tire, you got dirt jammed up into that one, and well, as you can see, need to do some gluing. Make sure they're up this par for when it comes time for the LMT. Right now, we get to do some water hosing. <laughs> then some air hosing, then some WD-40ing. Yeah. I gotta tell you, the tires held up way better on the Corley. I don't know, maybe the water or something, which that was the first time they've ever been in water. But yeah, they were not liking the Max. Came apart a little bit, so I got some tire glue. Everything is dried up now. I'm going to sit back, let it dry up, and then we're going to set up try to get these things on the LMT. It's been a while since I've driven that truck, and that thing is awesome. Why have I not driven the LMT? I need to. So these right here are going to hook up like crazy on the LMT. And no, I do not plan to try to water skip that thing. No, not going to happen. These tires... They actually, if they were a paddle tire, they'd stay on top a little bit better, but they're so wide, they actually pull kind of like a suction or a vacuum into the water. So, yeah, but anything loose, anything dirt, these are just going to grab and go. I mean, really. Look at that. Awesome. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Max did good. I typically don't run the water like that, but had an opportunity, took advantage of it made it happen anyway guys hopefully you liked the video I'll, I'll link up the tires the max everything on it all the conversion stuff i did to convert this from the max v1 into this one it'll all be linked below so make sure you check that out a main ebay and while on in horizon they are affiliate links that helps out the channel when you guys use them so guys check that description use those links make sure you're subscribed and thank you all for watching if you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.